Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I have something very special to show you. Today we're going to take a look at the crosses that I have been working on for quite a while. And then we'll take one of the fruits off of these plants and then we'll give it a taste. So let me go around and show you what I have going on. The first plant here is the prize plant of the season. This is my most favorite and most anticipated plant of the season. I have been working on this plant for quite some time and it's finally starting to produce fruits that I can show you guys and show off a little bit. This plant here is a cross between a scotch bonnet yellow and a reaper. And I named this plant the Staracha plant because this is going to be mainly for the purpose of sauce making. Initially when I make sauce I love using scotch bonnet but then the heat wasn't enough so I always grow in extra varieties like the Brazilian ghost or the reapers and those are just taking up so much space that I just don't have any more room for so I decided to cross the two varieties to make a new variety that I can use for sauce that would carry the flavor and the heat so that is the reason why I created this plant this is a scotch bonnet yellow cross with a reaper so as you can see, the plant can retain the characteristic of very reaper-like qualities. Um, the leaves and then the stems and the way it grows, it looks exactly like a reaper. And the fruit, some of them also resemble a reaper shape. And also there's many that look a little bit different. And one of the most beautiful part on this plant is this guy right here. Check that out. It's very, very beautiful. See that crazy looking stinger right here? And then the shape of a scotch bonnet. And then all these bumps here. And then this one just looks like a reaper. Or some form of reaper. And then let me turn it around. And there is some more. And the ripening pattern of these plants are very, very unique because it'll start completely green and then it slowly transition into a yellowish color and then to a more orangey color and then finally to this beautiful vibrant color and then if you wait longer it'll turn into this very very red color and all this is just on a single plant as you can see the variations it's just absolutely gorgeous I just love this variety. So today I'm going to be cutting this open and try it. But that is my plant here. So here's a look at uh, some more of the fruits. This one is also very unique. And let me show you again the one that I like the most. And I will be saving seeds for this guy to grow out next season. Look at that. Very, very cool and beautiful. Okay, so let me show you the parent plants. There it is. That is the parent scotch bonnet. And uh, most of them would be something like that. And they just retain this beautiful yellow color very very nice pods they're nice thick and juicy and the flavor is amazing and so there is how it looks and then of course you can see the color is yellow and then the cross is here and then the color is different Okay, let me show you another cross that I've been working on. This is a Scotch Bonnet cross with a Brazilian ghost. And these two, these are two separate trees. And they are from the same seeds. And the unique thing about that is that this one comes out orange, or yellow, sorry. And then the other one comes out yellow. Do you see that one over there? So one tree produces yellow fruits just like the parent but much larger 
and it uh, it resembles the um, Brazilian goats because Brazilian goats that I grow are extremely large, very prolific, and they are red. And this one is pretty large and yellow. And then the brother that came from the same seed package is red. The shape is very much like the original plant, the parent, which is the scotch bonnet, but the color is very, very different. So as you can see, two of the same plant, similar looking leaves, looks exactly the same. It came out of the same seed package that I saved, and one is red and one's yellow. So I will continue to grow these two varieties out and segregate the colors, and then see what else I have. All right, so let's move on to the next cross that I've been working on. This plant here is a Scotch bonnet. Again, my favorite plant, so I use that to cross with everything else. Scotch bonnet crossed with a bird's eye. This is the parent. So here's another Scotch bonnet that I grow hydro outdoor, producing very nice fruits here. So the, this is the parent plant. The scotch bonnet yellow and this is the other plant that I collected pollen from the bird's eye as you can see is all pointing upward and this is the result so the leaves are very much different than the bird's eye it's a little bit larger and more of a scotch bonnet leaf and then the fruits they don't go upward they go downward. They're much larger than the bird's eye, but much smaller than the scotch bonnet. So the cross is very beautiful. Look at this. And it seems like it's going to change red. So here's the other one. I have a few. I mean, this, this plant has been through some crazy stuff during this season I have all kinds of mites damage and it finally made it back so it didn't produce very well but I'm happy about these three so very very firm grows downward thick pods it's sort of like has some uh, dents here look like a scotch bonnet but yeah that's one of the one that I'm really looking forward to trying so what I want is the heat of the bird's eye but the flavor and the sweetness and the thickness of a scotch bonnet so that's what I'm hoping for that and here it is again the parent plant sometimes it has a scotch bonnet shape you see this it's just when I grow these so small in a hydro method the shapes come out all different so there you have it those are my cross this season I still have a few more going on that I will not be showing until later but uh, uh, here's a sneak peek at one of them look at that it has a crazy cool bonnet shape but unfortunately there's only one fruit on this plant alright guys so those are my crosses and uh, be looking out for a review video that I would be doing for that guy right there. I'm very excited about that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.